Hello everybody, this video is about the StreamFX plugin for OBS on Mac OS Big Sur. Sorry for the bad quality, but it's this is my MacBook Air from 2013 and I must admit the resolution is not the best one. I installed OBS on my Mac recently and I was looking for an option how to make particular parts blurry and couldn't find it. So um, yeah, I just Google and found this uh, StreamFX plugin, and I, but I couldn't find any um, you know, any description how to install it on Mac, so on Mac OS or on Big Sur. So I couldn't find anything on YouTube, so I thought it might be a good idea if I make a short how-to video for all of you out there. I will keep it short, I will keep it clear and simple. So as you can see on my uh, screen, the StreamFX is already installed. I can just um, go to one of my, um, maybe here filters and you can see there is a blur option here so this this option is actually coming only from the stream effects plugin so we'll just close back again and uh, what would you need to do is actually to go to the link I will post in my description and you will find this file stream effects zip you will need to download this file I should believe I should have it on my uh, yeah, and then you will need to um, extract this file. So we'll see extracting is ongoing. So and you will see you will find here like StreamFX and StreamFX SO. So you will need put the StreamFX SO to the um, to your programs to your OBS. Just right click and pick like show me the package. And um, the StreamFX SSO will go to the contents, plugins, and as you can see, StreamFX, so there you go. You, you will need to copy this file into this folder. And thus, uh, contents, plugins, and just right inside of this folder. And the other one, uh, which is, um, let me just go, which is, which is StreamFX folder, you will need to, copy and paste it into your programs. Go back again to the OBS, show me the package. So you will need to paste it into resources, data, OBS plugins, and uh, it should be here. Yeah, yeah, there you go, StreamFX. And when it's done, just uh, restart the OBS and you should have the the, the plugin. Um, yeah, I um, I found the solution somewhere online, so this is not something I invented or uh, I coded or whatsoever. I just found it somewhere online. I, I can't remember somewhere uh, where I found it finally, but in the end, yeah, it's uh, a workable solution and I'm happy it works pretty well for me. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, please ask somebody else because I have no clue about that and uh, enjoy the plugin. Thank you and bye-bye.